right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you ever wondered why all of our 3D printers and smart home devices like your light bulbs and all of that stuff only come on a 2.4 gigahertz network? Have you set up your home network and checked both of the boxes for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, and set up all of your devices that way and wondered why you have to set that up? Well, if you fit into any one of those categories, then today's video is perfect for you. So today I'm going to highlight why we might want to pay a little bit more attention to the 2.4 gigahertz network, especially for 3D printers your, um, you know, smart light bulbs, um, you know, your smart home type devices and why we might want to optimize our network a little bit better to handle those things. So recently I set up my network and optimized it for my wireless cameras, my internet of things like printers and everything. And then my home network that my computers and my cell phone connect to. And I came to a realization that I've been using these wrong this entire time. And it's actually not that hard to optimize your network for your internet of things and um, your home network for your computers and your cell phone. And you don't need to be a network engineer to do it. So in today's video, I'll go over some simple um, tips and tricks on how to set up your network and why you might want to set your network up that way. Um, so if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are with how my network used to be set up. So I'd have my SSID with my awesome network name. And I'd have the 2.4 gigahertz network as well as the 5 gigahertz network going at the same time on this same network. And uh, when I went to optimize my network and create more SSIDs to do things, what I found out is my um, access points or routers or whatever, these antennas can only transmit so much um, on these networks. So my particular ones can only do four networks of 2.4 and four networks of two point or of five um, and no more. So it forced me to kind of separate this stuff out. And I started to look into this and there's a couple of reasons why we, we might want to focus on 2.4 gigahertz. Um, the differences between these is five gigahertz is a little bit faster. I'm not sure um, for most of the things that we're going to be using, if you would um, know, have a noticeable difference but it also has a shorter range. 2.4 gigahertz is slower, but it has a longer range. And this is one of the reasons why these IOT devices um, focus on 2.4 gigahertz is because your light bulb and all of that stuff is gonna be in a weird place. It's not always gonna be right next to the router. And um, you know the range needs to be a little bit better in order to penetrate through the walls and, and to get to those IOT devices. So this is that's one of the big reasons why they do that. And then the second reason is those antennas for the 2.4 gigahertz are a lot cheaper. Um, so, you know, they like to cut cost on these devices. And if you don't need the speed of 5G, um, 2.4 is a lot more cost effective, plus it has the better range. And that's why we don't see these devices um, support that. Um, so the other reason why you don't want to do that is you, or <clears throat> why you might want to separate these is you don't want your main network to have to always um, deal with this congestion. Um, there's an easy way that we can set our network up and kind of help our router or our access points, um, you know, deal with the congestion of our network and help speed things up and improve the flow of the network. And again, without being a network engineer. So the better way to do this is to create an SSID for your internet of things stuff, <laughs> put that on your 2.4 gigahertz network and not on both of your networks. And then for your stuff and your computers and your cell phones and different things like that put that on the five gigahertz network so that you can take advantage of the speed 
And generally speaking, you're going to be close to, um, you know, your router or whatever. So the range and, and all of that doesn't, um, you know, make a huge difference. Um, you know, sending G code to our 3D printer doesn't require the speed of 5G 2.4 um, works just fine. And I'll tell you, I even have some of my um, TVs and stream Netflix and all of that on this 2.4 gigahertz network just fine. And it keeps my network clean. So this is an easy way for you to um, help your router or your access points, uh, you know, deal with the traffic without making it, um, you know, deal with the congestion and deal with 2.4 and 5 on the same antenna or on the same network or whatever. So this is an easy way, you know, to uh, undo all of that and why we might want to thank these manufacturers for going um, for the 2.4 gigahertz network, because now it makes it easy for us to keep their stuff off of our main network and keep our stuff on our network and not have a congested network and not overwork our router or the antennas. So I hope this is a cool little tip for everybody to use today. Um, this is something that I've done recently that has been very, very good um, for my network and my traffic. Um, so hopefully you can do this too. So like I said, you don't need to be a network engineer, just kind of set this stuff up um, to, to do this stuff. If you really want to get sophisticated and cute with it, you can set up advanced firewall rules. And I would suggest digging in a little bit to that and looking at folks like Network Chuck or, um, you know, different channels like that, that um, really show how to set up some firewall rules um, for your specific router. Um, so that's going to do it for today. If you found this helpful, be sure to smash the like button. Um, be sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And be sure to send us uh, pictures of your prints and join us on Saturday's live stream um, and show off what kind of stuff you're making with your 3D printer. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.